Hi guys, Shane from MCC 4x4. Um, just running through the Mitsubishi Triton recovery points today. Um, this is a standalone kit, so this kit here doesn't require the actual bull bar itself to be fitted to the car. They can be mounted separately by themselves with a standard bumper, as you can see there. Um, so I'll run you through the kit first, and then we can go ahead and have a look at the car and we'll fit them. Um, so what comes in the kit is your two recovery points, obviously, um, the standalone kit, and then all the bolts. Um, be mindful to have a look at the instructions and the schematic. It shows you there where the bolts go. There is different lengths, so be weary of that. Alrighty guys, we're over here at the car now. Um, first things first, we've got to get the bumper off. Um, to be able to do that, we're going to pull the top plate off here. Um, there's just a couple of Phillips head screws, um, plastic screw sets, and then we'll get the grill off, and then we'll um, show you where a few hidden secret bolts are and make it easier for you. Alright, so once you've got the top plate off, there's uh, two hidden ones here. Go ahead and take those ones out. To be able to get the grill out, it pulls forward. But to be able to pull it forward, the number plate and this number plate bracket here has to be removed. Right, so this bracket comes off by pulling it forward. Be very careful pulling it off um, because there is two brackets that are very flimsy behind it. So be wary of not snapping those. So there is two hidden bolts, um, they're just behind each of the side covers. That's the cover there. So be very careful, obviously it is painted, so be very careful pulling it off, make sure you don't scratch anything. So in the wheel arch section, you only need to pull the front out um, because the wheel um, arch liner is actually mounted to the front bumper um, and you can remove that 10 mil bolt those two um, push clips and then we'll start underneath later but just for now while the car's at this level um, we'll pull out those two clips and that 10 mil so then this whole inner guard liner is detached from the front bumper and yeah everything you do on this side we'll do on that side Two other clips you have to be wary of as well. They're just located up here. There's one on each side. They're just a normal um, clip, so just got to take those ones out as well. Just to make it easy, again, the bumper off, just to make sure they're all unlocated. Just push them back, just to make sure they're nice and free, so they don't hang up or get caught on the bumper when you're pulling it off make sure you haven't missed anything. A few things to be uh, aware of, um, mainly just scratching hazards. Make sure you don't let the two surfaces rub against each other and just make sure you don't scratch the bumper on the headlight. So you start from down here, pop it out and as you're popping it out just kind of wiggle it. Don't put too much pressure on it because there is clips in here where you're unclipping it and you've got to make sure you do not break them. So as you pop it out, just let it rest there. Make sure it's not touching the headlight and make sure it's only resting on the inner side surface. Um, before you take it off, because there is electrical, so we'll quickly undo the electrical plugs. There is two, sometimes there's three, depending on what accessories the vehicle has. So just behind here, you wanna unplug one. And that plug there is not used because this car does not have sensors. And that plug there is not used because it doesn't have a camera. It only has the plugs for the fog lights and indicators. So the plugs will vary. You'll have one, two, or three. This one only has one. All right, now we're just gonna remove a couple of things to make it easier to get better access to be able to fit them. Um, this isn't necessary, but just makes it much easier to move a few things out of the way. Makes it a bit quicker too. 
If you find it easier to get better access by taking this front intrusion bar off, sometimes it is a bit easier. There's four bolts, just one there, one there, one there and one there. After we get the bumper off, we can pull the bash plate off. It's just four 12 mil bolts. You can see the bolts just under here. There's one there as well as the other side. One down here as well as that one there. Now we have everything removed, we can start putting the recovery points on. This one here, with the back leg here, so it's this one with the back leg. So we'll start with the two short ones, which are the top bolts, get some washes on those, and then two long ones for the bottom, get washes on those. Also, we're going to need one of the long ones, that is for the centre, another long one for that back leg there. We get access to that back one fairly easy, so we'll leave this one into a last to put on. Keep it level. Fold the wheel arch the other way. We'll get that on, on that one there. Right, now we're going to go ahead and put these on. These have a thread inside them, which will hold on to those two top bolts and the two bottom ones. From the inside of the chassis rail, you have two bolts on the top, two bolts on the bottom. Make sure you start them by hand first. Uh, make sure they're all in. Keep everything loose and only tighten it at the end. So we'll start with the top bolts. All right, so now we're gonna grab that other long one and we'll put it through that back leg part. So be sure to put in your space level lock down in the center. Last bolt is this one here and this plate. Plate inserts from the outside of the front cross intrusion bar and this bolt goes through the back. Um, the good thing about this kit comparing to other, other kits you can get out there, um, this Recovery point does disperse the load throughout a wide surface area of the chassis, which minimizes the chance of chassis warping, um, and it just increases the, the total strength of the recovery point. All right, so now the recovery points are on and secure, we can go ahead and do everything in reverse to be able to put everything back on the vehicle. Before we go ahead and put the bumper back on, there is a few things we have to do. Um, just a few little bits and pieces that need trimming. Um, only by a little bit though. So we'll go ahead and put this um, intrusion bar back on. Make sure you have it lined up with the holes. So it does contact the front section of the recovery point there. Now we're going to mark it. Um, so as you can see I've marked to the left of the bracket, to the right of the bracket, and then one centimetre in. Alright, to refit the bash plate after the recovery points are put in, our longer supplied bolt goes at the front section, and this spacer block goes at the front, like that. All right, now we've got the bumper back on, we can go ahead and clip it back into place. And to be able to clip it on, you just give it a nudge, and it should clip back in. That's so.